Marguerite, I'd like you to meet my mother. This is my mother, Sophia Petrillo. Ma, this is Marguerite. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you. <laughs> Won't you join us? Yeah, and pour me some of that champagne. I never know if I'm going to make it to New Year's. <laughs> So what are we celebrating? Do the Supremes get back together? Uh, you know, I really think you should go and lie down. You look exhausted. Hey, I lady, I look like this in the middle of a dead sleep. <laughs> so, Marguerite, what's your claim to fame? I'm the housekeeper. <laughs> yeah? You always wear a tiara to clean the toilet? Ma, could I see you in the kitchen? What's going on? Listen, Ma, I want you to be especially nice to Marguerite. You are not to ask her to lift a finger. And if there's anything you need, you let me or one of the girls know. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. She's the housekeeper, right? Right. But she's not supposed to lift a finger, right? Right. If anything needs to be done, you take care of it, right? Right. Where are you going, Ma? To get a job as a housekeeper. <laughs> Ma, Ma, be serious now. Marguerite is dangerous. She put a curse on us. And I'm the one that got put in the home? I know it's unbelievable, but we fired her. She put a curse on us, so we had to hire her back. Now, if we can just keep her happy, maybe she'll leave us alone. You really are afraid of her, aren't you? Mama, it's unbelievable, but please go along with it, okay? I mean, do it for me. If it means that much to you, pussycat, you got it. Oh, thanks. Now, remember, not a word. So what's all this crap about you putting a curse on my door? We're all going to be turned into kumquats. <laughs> what is she talking about? Don't play dumb with me. I've been known to cast a curse myself. Do you think Shelley Long was really tired of playing in Cheers? <laughs> Wrong, baby. I was tired of her. <laughs> is that what this is all about? You think I put a curse on you? Well, it's true. You got mad at us for firing you. That's why you reversed that love potion you gave me. Honey, that wasn't love potion. That was Chanel number no. five. I'm not buying that. Dorothy uses Chanel number no. five all the time, and she never attracts men. <laughs> what about this painted rock that you put under my bed? Oh, thank God you found it. It was the first wage I ever earned. Then you lied to me about it's helping me to sleep. Okay. I figured that you'd be angry because I didn't sweep under the bed. Gee, you're really a good liar. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm studying to be a lawyer. <laughs> See, I'm going to school at night, and the only time I have to study is when you all go out in the morning. That's why the toilets don't get the attention they probably deserve. Well, then everything was just a misunderstanding and Norman really did dump me for a fat woman. <laughs> I hate to burst your bubble, but I just wanted a job. The truth is, I don't have any magical powers. Boy, have I been stupid. <laughs> I haven't felt this dumb since I found out William Conrad wasn't one guy in a jacket and another guy in a pair of pants. <laughs> Well, Marguerite, I guess we just let our superstitions get the best of us, and I think we owe you an apology. No, no, I owe you an apology. Because you're right, I'm a lousy housekeeper. <laughs> I feel like such a silly goose. <laughs> Goodbye, ladies. And I'm really sorry for all the trouble, but thank you for being understanding. And thank you for taking care of that Shelly Long. I'm tired of that thin, uppity white woman, too. <laughs>